What's going on everybody and welcome back to a new video and today I'm here with Dylan this time and mm -hmm. today we got some things to talk about before we get into the content make sure to leave a like comment down below your thoughts of the video or future ideas and subscribe for more content as usual and let's get into it okay so the first thing we should talk about is uh, today it was reported that Joe Johnson wants to make an NBA comeback and is scheduled, don't know what day or time, but he's scheduled with a workout soon with the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, now, obviously, this is not no, oh, uh, just coming out of his all-star form. No, he's he's 39 years old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He he's not gonna be no all star. He's not gonna be no superstar. Um, he's gonna probably be a guy that you give like five to ten minutes to, maybe at, at best. Take some of Pat Content's minutes away. Yeah, it'd be a um. I mean, at this point, yeah, obviously he's not. It, like, let's just say, would you sign him? Um, he's obviously not going to be, obviously, the main guy like he once was, where he could do, like, things like he used to do. But I think he could, if, but if he's not actually washed, he could be, I think, a decent, better role player, though. He's got a nice ISO uh, type game, which could fit in nicely. <laughs> Be able to take guys one on one if you can still hit that jump shot. That'd be a good weapon to have. Yeah, I say he could play like maybe five to maybe like 12, 13 minutes a game. I don't see him getting like twenty minutes a game. Um, he'd be, I think he'd be like a Kyle Korver was like last year. I'd rather have he'd, Kyle Korver. <laughs> I probably would too, but I'm guessing you're tired. <laughs> yeah. Because I think on the uh, broadcast or whatever, <laughs> TNT or whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. But um, Joe Johnson, I would want him, but uh, just depends. He's not officially signed, so don't don't get that mixed up, people. He's not officially signed. He's uh, going to schedule... Hey, Probably know he could still be. He might be just like washed, but <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a, still got something left. I guess I'll take him at this point. Yeah, he's <laughs> <Give him up. laughs> also can maybe provide a little scoring, which we can always you can always use that. Yeah, he's not signed. He's scheduled for a workout. That's it. All right. Um, yeah. moving on. So the Milwaukee Brewers signed D. Gordon to a minor league contract. And I personally kind of like this move as it gives us some depth in the infield. And D. Gordon's a really fast player, but he's 32 years old. Or might be 33 right now, I don't really know. Oh, he's going to turn 33 April 22nd, okay. Um, but he's no longer that all-star he was one year with the Dodgers and one year with the Marlins where he was a two-time all-star. Um, but, yeah, last year with the Seattle Mariners in 33 games, he hit 200, um, which is not good. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's, like, not good. It's... It out it, that two hundred average is probably better than half our roster last year. <laughs> I mean, that's like better than Yelich. So <laughs> twenty twenty yeah. good year. So I don't take twenty twenty so seriously. <laughs> yeah. Those only six games as well. <laughs> yeah, and also in the twenty twenty season, D Gordon had a two two sixty eight OBP. A 213 slugging for a 482 OPS, which is not great at all. Um, he also had just, he had no home runs. 
Uh, he had 15 hits. So there's that. Um, you know, if he... He's probably most likely going to be a September call-up for depth or if, like, Colton Wan doesn't recover from the injury quickly. I don't know. Actually, I don't even know if he's playing right now in the minors. <laughs> um, I think it's COVID protocols, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, he's probably going to be called up most, li- most likely September call-ups, maybe for some depth in the infield. But I don't really see him being a major part of this team. I don't know. He's what just part. in for depth, and if he does anything like he used to, then it's a great sign. In. <laughs> yep. And now we're going to move on to uh, the Brewers. Um, well, we're sticking with the Brewers, but a different topic. Um, so they're. First full week of the year, starting from Monday to Sunday. Um, they had a three-game series at Chicago, a three-game series at St. Louis, and then now they're currently in a three-game homestand against the Cubs, with the third game being tomorrow. So, yeah, we're definitely going to be facing the Cubs a lot to begin the year. We took two out of three. The first series, it's tied 1-1 now. And then April 23rd through the 25th, it's a three-game at Wrigley. So we faced them three times this month. <coughs> uh man. So... Yeah. Play them a lot. Yeah. Be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we lost 3-5 to five in the first game on April 5th. But then uh, April sixth, we shut him out four to nothing with a perfect performance from everyone. Freddie Peralta, five innings, eight Ks. Suter went three scoreless, and then Boxberger closed it out. Um, I believe that was a combined one hitter. Yeah, that was a combined one hitter. That was almost a no hitter. And then uh. The final game of that first series, we won four to two. Um, what end of the game scare? I remember. <laughs> yeah, JP almost freaking lost it for us. But luckily, Brad Boxberger came in and closed it out. <laughs> yeah, and then we began our series against the St. Louis Cardinals with a three to one loss. Um, Burns, though, had a perfect day. Six innings, one hit, nine Ks. Could have been an argument. He could have gone one more, but I don't know. Um, If he would have gone one more, that probably would have saved the Tyler O'Neill reach on an infield single. Uh, It probably would have saved their little bit of a rally in the seventh, but who knows? We don't know. Maybe Corbin Burns would have gotten knocked up. Who knows? Um, uh-huh. So a lot, I saw a lot of people blaming Council for that move, which you know it, it's a little understandable, but at the same time, you know Burns did have 86 pitches in those six innings. You know maybe he could have gone one more, but you know at the beginning of the year you want to keep or you want to just rest your pitchers, especially if they're aces. Um, mm-hmm. So you know that's my thoughts on that. Uh, the second game of the series, we beat them nine to five. Um, Hauser had a good, uh, okay day. It wasn't a great day. He had five innings pitched, six hits, one run, but it wasn't earned. He had three Ks, but he walked four batters, which is not great. But he was able to get out of some of the sticky situations there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the bullpen, except for Lynn Bloom, uh, uh, just locked down the Cardinals the rest of the game. Um, and then, uh, we beat them nine to three in the series finale. Um, <laughs> and I'm really, and, uh, this probably would not have been possible if their bullpen came in earlier. <laughs> Cause, uh, 
walk in. <laughs> yeah, Daniel Ponce de Leon uh, got freaking destroyed in one and one thirds inning. Gave up six hits, seven runs, and all of them are earned. And he walked four batters. He didn't even have a strikeout. <laughs> he he just got destroyed right away. And um, that was a good game we got together. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm glad we got to them early because then our their bullpen kind of shut us down until the ninth inning with a man until uh, Manny Pena two run bomb. But uh, yeah, I mean, I guess another thing is is that they weren't really trying. If they're up like seven nothing or seven one or whatever, I guess they kind of just wanted to get the game over with. But you never know; they're competitors. They always want to get good at bats. Well, yeah, they want to get good at bats. That's how they get paid <laughs> for future contracts. <laughs> yep, and then we had the game yesterday where we beat the Cubs six to three. Um, I got home at the best time. Uh, I got home. It was one nothing, and then I see literally two pitches when I turn the game on. Arias double, and then uh, all those runs accumulated. I was like, "Good lord!" I came at the best time. I came home at the best time. Ah. Uh-huh. Freddie Peralta, six innings pitch, 10 Ks, one earned run. Still a great night. Brent Suter, scoreless. Huh? Freddie Peralta's looked great so far. Brent Suter, scoreless inning. Devin Williams, scoreless inning, but he did walk two. He had no Ks. I mean... I've been seeing people calling him a one-hit wonder from, obviously, last year when he had a, a f- tremendous season. Um, He's only pitched 2.2 innings this year. Relax. <laughs> uh-huh. It's only two. It's basically three innings into the year. Relax. Um, And then here's where the dominoes started to fall a little bit. I was getting worried because it was originally going to be Pardomo's debut but he wasn't on the lineup card and then drew rasmussen had to come in and in one third inning he gave up two hits two earned runs one walk no k's and i'm like are you kidding me obviously he didn't know he was gonna pitch so i guess he i guess you gotta give him the benefit of the doubt there but at the same time get i'll your- come whack because um because he, he had to get rushed in immediately. He didn't even have time to really warm up. <laughs> yeah. And then. You know, pitches the throw, and then it's like, all right, got thrown all, and yeah. <laughs> then, um. That would be very tough to do. <laughs> yeah, and then something, uh, we didn't want to happen, and bringing Hater in the game. <laughs> but it, we had to, to close it out, and he did in six pitches. So, only do only throwing six pitches. He was available for today's game, but oh wait, he didn't even pitch today's game. I thought I saw some. Okay, never mind. He um, was warming up, but that was in case we got the lead, which unfortunately we didn't. <laughs> great. Um, but today's game got interesting. <laughs> so I I was at work during the game and. I was, or um, something got, or something happened at work to where I was able to sit in the break room for three hours, and I (laughs) watched the game as soon as it got on, and I watched the first three innings, and then I had to go back in, because, well, they fixed it, Um, and I saw the Arias two-run bomb, I'm like, oh, hell yeah. And then I left at the most important time. Chris Bryant his sacrifice fly, and then Contreras hit a two run bomb. But that's not the story of the game. I mean, I guess because I've been, I heard Contreras bat flip or whatever. What? I don't care. <laughs> the the main story from this game was 
when Woodruff was at bat. Um, the pitcher for the Cubs, uh, I believe it was Tulpa or whatever. Brian Tapera. Tapera. Yeah. <laughs> he threw behind Woodruff, almost hitting him. And I can't play the clip for the Pros game because that would be copyright, most likely. But Contreras said that uh, Woodruff was the uh, would be like the right dude to th- uh, intentionally hit. Yep. So we're gonna we're gonna have um, a WrestleMania backlash. Tomorrow. <laughs> uh man. I left at the wrong time. I was I was like, yeah, we're gonna win this. And then I get out gonna and then I get out of work, I'm done at like ten o'clock and I'm like, Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and then I get home and I see the storyline and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Yes. Like, Screw Wilson Contreras. <laughs> he's literally he he's he's probably, he's probably my most hated player now, and that's saying a lot about Machado. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't I don't like him. I don't get it. But I can't wait for tomorrow's game now. Um in, in case you're wondering who the starters are, it's Jake Arrieta and Corbin Burns. Um, so yeah, and then uh, after this, we have a off day on Thursday, and then a three game series against the Pittsburgh Pirates, which I'm gonna go out on a limb right now and say, we better freaking sweep them. <laughs> we better sweep them. I don't care. That it, oh they're a professional baseball team they're terrible. How are they doing actually? <laughs> they're four. And, I know they beat Padres today. <laughs> they're four and seven, but they started the year one to. Oh, they actually started the year one and six. They've won three of their last four. Okay, maybe I don't know. <laughs> and they beat the Padres. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. But anyway, still, still, we'd better take two of three, because uh, the Pirates are not playoff contenders. If we want to show that we're playoff contenders, we take two of three or three of three. Those are my expectations. Sam. And then, speaking of the Padres, we face the Padres after that, and then the Cubs, which, great. Then we finish April with the Marlins and then the Dodgers. And then May 1st, we're going to the Dodgers game. So that will be fun. Yeah, that's my 20th birthday present. <laughs> oh, shit. That Dodgers series is a four-game series. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's game three. <laughs> Great. I don't yeah. know what we'll be pitching for that, but should be a good game. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep. All right. Well, oh, my 20th birthday present. <laughs> Yeah, um, my final thoughts, I've seen videos of Wilson Contreras literally leaning into pitches in the past, so like he has no right to just freak out and then go and intentionally hit freaking Woodruff. Yeah, screw him. (laughs) But that's my thoughts, um, I'm gonna end it here, um. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content, and we'll see you next time. Peace.